Recently, I've been much more serious about doing modifications to my car, and that got me thinking and doing some research, and I thought, what are some good modifications that you can do for cheap? Not just for my car, but for any car. So I thought I'd put together this quick little video for you all, kind of just detailing a few upgrades that you can do to your car for pretty cheap. So without further ado, here are eight cheap modifications to make your car faster. So the first modification, and this is probably one of the major modifications that people do their cars, is a air intake, or more specifically, a cold air intake. So the purpose of a cold air intake versus a normal air intake is that with cold air, you can get more air into the engine since cold air is denser than warm air or normal air. So it allows for better performance. So when I say better performance, it's not really anything significant. I mean, realistically, you can expect like an additional five or seven horsepower. It's not gonna be something staggering. So second on the list is a cat-back exhaust system. Exactly what it means is, a, is an exhaust from the catalytic converter back. So it's about roughly maybe like half of your exhaust system that you're replacing. So it basically just loosens up the entire exhaust system and helps gases flow easier through there and out the back of the car. And with gases going from the engine uh, out the back faster means that you are able to put more fuel and air into the engine faster, which means more power. So third on the list is getting a high flow catalytic converter. And what a high flow catalytic converter is, is it basically is less restrictive, meaning that more exhaust is able to pass through it rather than get trapped or whatever in there. So it's kind of similar to the cat-back exhaust, except you're actually replacing the catalytic converter. Now what you don't want to do is completely remove the catalytic converter because that is illegal in pretty much every state as far as I'm concerned. It's definitely illegal here in Arizona and you won't be able to pass emissions if you don't have a catalytic converter. So what you can do though is buy an aftermarket catalytic converter, especially if your car is older, because older cars tend to have much more restrictive catalytic converters, whereas newer cars have less restrictive ones that are that allow for more flow through the exhaust, which leads to better performance, as I've said already. But a high flow catalyst is definitely another cheap upgrade that you can do. Fourth on the list is tuning your car. And tuning your car is specifically meant for mostly forced induction engines because from what I've read, tuning a naturally aspirated engine is pretty much worthless. So if you have a turbocharged or supercharged car, tuning your car is definitely an option. For those of you guys that have been watching the channel now for a bit, you know that I got my car tuned and by only replacing the spark plugs, which was a $10 purchase, by replacing the spark plugs, I got an extra 55 horsepower and 60 pound-feet of torque, just from that. And the good thing about a tune is, it can be undone if you wanted to. So number five on the list is a large diameter throttle body. And the throttle body, essentially it just monitors how much air goes into your engine in a nutshell. And if you have a larger throttle body, obviously that means more air can go into the engine, which means that you can get more power in there pretty easily. And if you notice, all these are kind of tying together. They all have to do with airflow, air temperature, exhaust gases, stuff like that. So to get these cheap modifications done, you're really gonna wanna focus on those two areas, is your air and your exhaust. So next on the list, going back to what I literally just said, is exhaust headers. So exhaust headers are the part of the exhaust that bolts straight to the engine. And stock ones on most cars tend to be very restrictive, from what I understand. And you can get either short tube or long tube headers. So the long tube headers are going to be better if your car is better in the higher RPMs, whereas short tube headers would be much better if your car is better in the low RPMs. So number seven on the list is forced induction. And this doesn't really go under the category of cheap mods, which is what this whole video is about, but it's still something that, I mean, you can get for a 
solid price, I guess, but it's gonna be a bit more expensive than everything else I've already mentioned. So forced induction is obviously something that you can only do if your car is naturally aspirated. So forced induction is either a turbocharger or supercharger. Both have their benefits and weaknesses. One major weakness and one thing that I hate about superchargers is that they use the engine to generate power so the, the supercharger is connected to the engine via a belt. And on the other hand, turbos get their power from the exhaust. So turbos are considered much more efficient and I personally like them a lot more. Kind of biased considering my car is turbocharged. So adding a supercharger or turbocharger to your engine could result in upwards of a 50% increase in power, which is really quite significant. So what that means is if your car makes 150 horsepower now, it'll make like 225 with a supercharger or turbocharger, an additional 75 horsepower, which is really quite significant. So last on the list is weight reduction. And this is something I just kind of had to throw in there because it's completely free. If you're really that serious about being just a little bit quicker, strip out the back seats, throw out your spare tire. Of course, do the spare tire at your own risk. That's kind of dumb. I would never do that personally. If you can strip like 100 pounds out of your car, it isn't really going to make much of a difference, to be quite honest. But as with some of these other mods, by themselves, they don't really make much of a difference, like the cold air intake. So some of these mods single-handedly don't do much. But weight reduction is something that can make you a tiny bit quicker. It'll also help you handle better if you do track your car or race it or you like to drive on windy roads. So making it lighter will obviously make it handle better. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Uh, just a quick little video idea I had. I thought I'd share the information that I've been discovering with you. I uh, hope you all found it informative like I just said. I'm just repeating myself now. But I hope you all enjoyed this day. Have a great video. Peace. Wonder if any of you fuckers are gonna catch that I just switched those around. I wonder. Jazz, jazz, jazz.